Okay, now we're coming to the end of milking. I wanted to show you what we do at the end. This is just water with essential oils in it, tea tree oil, lavender, and some other ones. And that's what I use for tea dip. I just spray it on each tea when I'm done. Now, before that though, I'm almost at the end of milking and I want to show you what stripping out a goat means. When you milk, all stripping out means is that you bump the udder, the baby goats will go underneath her and hit her like this with their nose. So I cut my hand and I just bump her udder with the tips of my fingers to let her know to let down the rest of her milk because sometimes they hold some up there. So the goat, the baby goat knows to do this to get the milk down and then I just gently grab her udder and massage it a little bit and that's her clue, hey we're not done here and I need to let out whatever I have up there. So then you grab the tea like you normally do and you make sure every bit of it is out. I was taught that when you strip them like this, that means they will not get mastitis. Um, I don't know if that's true, my goats have never had mastitis. I believe mastitis is caused from a lack of minerals, but I do this because that's how I read it has to be done, so that's what I do. Um, I'm almost done stripping her out. You just keep milk until you don't get anything out, and I rubber and massage her twice, sometimes three times. Make sure I get every little bit out. As you can see, when you're done milking, their udder is very flexible and flabby, like nothing's in there. And here is my milk pail with the milk in it, with the filter. And then I'm going to take my tea spray, shake it up, and I spray twice on each udder. She don't like this. And then she gets let go. And she's done. And all my girls follow me to the barn without being led. They just, I open the door and they just follow me. And that is red being milked.